I could use one blade and walk. I could hike and shave. How many channels give you the best men's grooming product reviews, car reviews, food, travel, and silliness? How many? Just one. So for the last few days, we've been running around in this beautiful Mohonk Mountain Resort. So that's where we're staying. And I've developed in that time, oh, about two and a half, three days worth of growth. Lo and behold, we have a dinner to go to in 30 minutes. So I really don't have time to shave, go, you know, to go back to the room and shave. What device, guys, can you use? Wet or dry. No nicks, no tugs, no pulls. You know. Phillips Norelco's one blade and you know I love it. So I'm gonna show you a quick shave with this and make the average guy a uh, BBS average guy. So first off, I'll take off my face covering. Now with this device, guys, the technique is against the grain. So the hair on my face grows down. I need to be shaving up. So here we go, here it goes. Nothing. Easy goes. You don't have to push. See that gray hair just getting ripped away? The tender bits. Hell, you could even go over your lips. No nicks, no tugs, no cuts, no irritation. Now let's tackle the neck. Hair on my neck grows upward. So I'm using that bottom blade. For my Adam's apple, I don't have to worry. I'm not gonna nick that up. And guys, if I miss the spot, I can do multiple passes because there's no irritation. It actually works better with longer hair. So if you have a beard, this device could rip that beard off. I love this, guys. Link below. You can pick one of these up for yourself. So the next time you're out in nature and you need a shave, there you go. Keep pushing. Play. I could use one blade and walk. I could hike and shave. Now, earlier today, I did a shave out on the trail with my favorite product. It's probably my favorite product of all time, the Philips Norelco One Blade. And basically what I do and what I'm showing you here is really how I use One Blade in, in my life. If I have long stubble, if I'm running and gunning on the go, I'm gonna use this device to take off that first pass. But as I said earlier, I'm going for a nice fancy dinner tonight and I want to make sure I have a baby bottom smooth shave. So I'm going to compliment my first pass of one blade 
with a traditional blade. Now, since I'm traveling, I brought some travel ready products. Now, first off, I'm gonna use Barbasol, their trial size. This is for sensitive skin. You can pick these up at any pharmacy that has the travel size area. And I'm gonna be using a safety razor, this King C Gillette Heritage Razor. And the reason I brought this is because it comes in its own little pack, its own little clamshell. Inside, you have the razor and a place for blades. And it's compact, goes right into your travel bag and provides a great shave. So pass two, pass three, we're gonna be doing with this. So let's, without further ado, let's get going. Now let's take this Heritage out. I've used this before on the channel. It's a three piece unit, two pieces of the head here. It's an Edwin Jagger style head. Very nice. I'm gonna be using Gillette Platinum Blades that come with the kit. Link below so you can pick up not only one blade, but this Gillette Heritage Razor, guys. So I'm gonna load up this Gillette Platinum Blade and we'll get cooking. Now, I've made this mistake in the past and I don't want you guys to make the mistake. Make sure you have the scalloped side of your blade face up so you can see the scallops. If you do it or fit it the other way around, you're not gonna have good success. But there it is, nice three-piece system, short handle guys, but it has some knurling here, which provides a slip-free feel. Not a tremendous amount of heft, but good heft, and especially in the head there. Now on this trip, I forgot to bring my suction cup, so you have to improvise sometimes. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm using a lamp to help me do this shave. And I may go to this angle just for variety. Maybe we'll do the second pass with that angle. I just wanted to show you I was MacGyver in it today. All right, so let's get into the shave. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit more warm near hot water, guys. This will open up the pores and get your face ready to receive your pre-shave oil. This is M Skin Care's Protect pre-shave oil. What I like about this, two, three pumps, rub it in. 30 second rub. And you let it sit for 30 seconds and you don't have to rinse it off. Doesn't leave the skin oily, but it leaves a nice barrier of protection on your face between your skin and the blade. And that's good to have. We'll let that sit for 30 seconds and I'll apply the Barbersol, guys. Nice thick lather, one of the oldest. And I'll just hand, I'll apply this by hand, but it's a nice creamy consistency. It's what you're looking for when you're you're doing your own lather, a nice thick yogurt or pudding consistency. And it feels good, it smells good. And looks good on camera. And I like this, the travel size, fits right into your toiletry bag and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with two passes. I've already done an against the grain pass. So I'm just, I'm gonna go with the traditional first pass with your safety razor. With the grain, hair grows straight down on your face. So I'm gonna be shaving down. Now with a safety razor, you wanna take a 30 to 35 degree angle. You wanna use short strokes and apply light if almost no pressure. And you hear that feedback? You hear that blade doing the work?
Take your time. This is really a fine tuning shave since I've already used one blade earlier and eliminated that long stubble. This is just that ultra baby bottom smooth kissable face shave. And that Heritage Razor is doing quick work of that pass number one. Rinsing off with warm, almost hot water. Gives you that heated razor feel. And taking my time, guys. Hair on my neck grows upward, so I'm gonna flip the razor upward or upside down and shave upward or with the grain, guys. Again, 30 degree angle. This is where you really, at least for me, it pays to do a, a second traditional pass with a razor, a traditional razor, because one blade is not as effective for me on my neck. You hear that feedback? My boy Mike Vance loves the feedback. And you have it with this razor. Okay, first pass is in the books. I'm gonna do one more pass. I'm gonna do a cross grain pass. And for that, I'm gonna turn this around. So you can see my beautiful tripod here. You can see my camera. A little fogginess happening. I'll lock it in there. And I'm probably a little crooked, but you get the point, guys. Beautiful place here. I've had a great stay, and I've done some videos about Mohonk up in the Catskills, upstate New York. Some hiking, kayaking, and climbing. I'll be sure to let you guys know about those when they post. But let's add a little bit more of this Barbasol. I'm gonna add it a little lighter this time with a little bit more water for the final pass. Ah, it feels good. So I'm gonna go cross grain with this. I'm gonna take the razor, 30 degree angle, and do nice long strokes cross grain. You can still do short strokes. I like to lengthen out those strokes. Ah, very nice. Use both sides of the blade. You have double edged razor. Use them both. You hear that? You hear that feedback? My man Adam Hahn from Leaf, he said, your cross grain pass is really when you want to attend to the sensitive bits around your mouth and under your nose. And I'm not trying to do too much, guys. I'm not trying to do too much. I'm just letting that blade find its way across my skin. Use the weight of the device. But don't force it. Short, 
light strokes. 35, 30 to 35 degree angle. Now for the final, if I wanna feel around and see if I've missed any spots. And I can address those spots. But for the most part, this is a beautiful baby's bottom smooth shave. Again, started with my favorite Phillips Norelco's one blade and ended up with the blade of choice. In this instance, it's the Gillette Heritage DE razor. Just beautiful, guys. So now I'm going to rinse off with cold water. That'll close the pores and get my face ready for the aftershave splash. Cold water. And you know what, guys? I forgot my aftershave at home. So in this instance, what you could do is you could either go with your, a little bit of your pre-shave or just a touch of your shaving cream. I'll go with the shaving cream today. And that'll just add a little, a little flavor to the shave. Very, very nice. And I got to get going because I'm running late. But as usual, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Look at that. This is where we came from where we are currently and where we're going